Today, face-to-face -face celebrity makeup artist Julianne This is sort of where the magic comes in. shows you how to get Miranda Lambert's Kentucky Derby look. I love Miranda's daytime look. I'm gonna create a glamorous daytime look. My secret weapon, the daytime smoky eye. This is Armani Designer. You can see how seamlessly this goes on. And we're doing foundation, and one of the most important things to think about is that you want the foundation to actually melt into the skin. And it's really important you have to set your foundation, otherwise your makeup's gonna be slipping all over the place. So I'm gonna use Dior's Powder Libre. This is a really beautiful translucent powder, and this looks very natural on the skin. Get a little groomer like this, and you just comb the eyebrows up. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow. This is from Girlactic, it's Star Shadow Skin, and I'm taking a really thick brush, and I'm just gonna comb the shadow into the brows. This is a brow tint, this is from Damone Roberts. This color is called Beverly Hills Blonde. Just gonna make sure that the brows have an even coat of color and that they're gonna stay put. One of the things I like to do before I put on any color on the eyes is get a nice flesh tone color. This is Windsor, a beautiful bone color from Cargo Cosmetics. And just work it all over the lid. This color is a beautiful gold that I'm using. This is from NARS. This palette's called Kalahari. I'm taking the color in the left side of the pan. And with a fluffy crease brush, I'm just going to go back and forth into her lid in a windshield wiper motion. And then you could just wrap it over the color you just put in. And the most important thing is that you make sure that you're blending. So we're still using the same palette, and I just switched brushes. So what I'm using is a small angled brush, and I'm gonna use the darkest color now. This is that more reddish brown, and I'm just gonna rim her eyes. I'm dragging the color, the red one, just from the bottom of the lash line, just sort of zigzagging it up. This will give you a sort of a cat eye effect. This is Teddy from MAC. You just want to take the pencil a little sideways here and just work it back and forth into the waterline. So if you squeeze your eyes tight for me, this is going to transfer to the top and it's going to give you that beautiful rimming effect that helps make your lashes look so full. We're going to put short individual lashes on. What I'm doing is I'm taking Duo. This is a surgical adhesive. It's clear. This is the best glue out there. And I like to start at the ends. Get them pretty close to each other. Your best bet is to really just walk them from the ends all the way to the tear duct. I just want to take a really beautiful color. This is from Chanel's new spring line, and this is called Mystic Eyes. And I'm taking the darkest color in the quad palette, and I'm just going to go over the lashes just so you don't see any traces of where I had put them. I'm going to use YSL's Faux Sills and Number no. 5. You're just going to shimmy at the base and shimmy is just go back and forth and work your way up. This is Blissful from Tarte. It's just a really beautiful soft pale pink. I'm gonna pop this just on the apples of the cheeks. This is a gloss crown. This is called Buenos Aires from NARS and this is just a beautiful neutral lip color. It's got a little bit of shine. So the look is done. Do you wanna see? Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. I love the lip color. I feel good. I feel ready to go to the Kentucky Derby. I'm really happy with it. This season on Face to Face, watch Julian and Marco compete in a series of makeup challenges. I'm going to show you how to look like a star. I'm going to make Gloria glow on her wedding day. This is sort of where the magic comes in. This look is princess worthy. Whose look will most impress the executive beauty director of Shape Magazine? This is amazing. Go to MSN Living's Style and Beauty section.